So is this a rocket stove? <laughs> it is a rocket stove. Um, it is not a rocket mass heater. It's a rocket cooktop and it is called a double shoebox, which you can find about out about on Permies. Um, Permies.com, which knows more than I do. But it used to be made of bricks. It still is internally. <laughs> um, but during the um, renovations of Allerton Abbey this summer, I cobbed over the bricks so that there would not be air gaps and so that it would be more attractive. And this is the end result. It's um, a layer or two of rough cob and then a finished plaster of chopped straw finished with linseed oil. And it's quite hard. Um, you can wipe it down with damp rags. It's not a problem. And it seems to be working really well. It's pretty similar to a batch box in terms of how you load it and light it. And it gets extremely hot. In fact, the lid got so hot um, just from this that it disintegrated my wool um, hot pad that I crocheted. So as you can see, that's wow. a total loss. Tragedy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, Fred said they measured it at a thousand degrees at one point, um, wow. on the cooktop. Definitely which, would burn my pancakes. Yeah, it's, I've, I've definitely burnt a few things when not being careful. The burning, uh, the burning gases come, you know, through the top of the burn chamber here. There's a little port at the, at the, back and the top and they come up travel in a horseshoe pattern mm. um, and then down uh, and up out the chimney well it burns better um, with a full belly like mm -hmm. most rocket stoves so I often will um, load it up pretty well in the beginning but it also tends to be you know a semi log cabin style kindling stack so it burns down rather quickly mm -hmm. Um, if you continue to feed it, you can generate a lot of heat, but it's designed for cooking and mm -hmm. not for heating. Yeah. So generally that's not what I do. So I imagine that like right here is your hottest burner. <laughs> Absolutely. Slightly off from the, <laughs> the, <circle. laughs> the actual circle. As you can see, this is the half pan. Um, but yes, these are not accurate representations of where you should put a pot. Everybody always puts it right here. It's be right about there. Um, and yeah, that's definitely the hottest burner. And then this is a nice little warming hob. It'll keep your water or food hot, which is nice. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com, where we talk about rocket cooktops, homesteading, and permaculture all the time. Mm -hmm.